all right hello everyone welcome to a new tutorial from monkey games so today uh, we will make the our hair cards or our hair texture in substance designer but uh, the last tutorial I uh, finished the video without, without showing you how to export the uh, textures uh, in our model all right so what I want you to do right now go to file okay export textures textures okay and in my case I like to render in V-Ray because it's fast okay so I choose the V-Ray uh, presets uh, presets uh, <coughs> you can choose the Unreal Engine you can choose Unity you can choose whatever you want so that's why it's really nice to save this uh, file or save this project okay and it depends on your uh, preferences anyway so uh, let's export our sweet materials gear materials 4k 4k and the configurations here you want here if you want to uh, choose or add or remove materials you want to uh, export all right so in my case I already exported them so I will press cancel and let's go to assign our material our materials in V-Ray Maya all right so here we are in Maya okay Dr uh, open your uh, hyper shade if you don't know how to bring that up okay go to this icon the white circle inside the green circle or the uh, anyway all right so let's uh, clean our hyper shade from here okay and let's make a new v-ray material so v-ray v-ray material okay and let's call this one uh, suits suits mt capital letter and let's put an underscore between them all right so now let's start uh, importing our materials okay go to your material editor okay for the diffuse color it is very easy uh, click on the checker file on the file here we have our uh, materials here so for the suits uh, let's choose the uh, texture ready suit material diffuse all right okay and let's assign the material here and let's see what happens so uh, select your model uh, right click on the uh, material ball assign material to selection all right so now here we have our diffuse material okay now let's continue all right not bad now let's go back to our material okay and assign the next one so the next material is the reflection color uh, let's choose the reflection on the reflection color and here it is now let's go back to our suit material okay oh Jesus Christ I uh, assigned it to the amount so control Z okay now let's go back reflection color check on uh, click on this checker okay and let's do it again file reflection okay no no it's perfect all right now next let's choose for the reflection glossiness here of course uh, reflection glossiness for both uh, the same name file so uh, suit a glossiness this one all right for this material don't forget to change the color space to raw okay and the color balance to alpha is luminance all right and the same thing for the color no I don't think so this one is all right 
okay so the next material we have to apply okay is let's go back to our material okay and uh, what do you call it I forgot that French uh, the French scientist okay so lock the French cell uh, IOR to reflection IOR so uncheck this box okay and the a Fresnel or oh, Fresnel I butchered his name okay and let's apply the IOR map here so the IOR file raw luminance and let's choose the IOR map this one all right okay so the next material we also have to uh, the last material is the bump map okay the map the bump map okay uh, change the uh, normal map in tangent space okay then let's check uh, let's choose our normal map material so empty normal all right so now our material is set up okay now let's change the gear material all right or the normal map okay on the suit I forgot to tell you so change the uh, color space to row and the uh, color balance to uh, alpha is luminance all right and that's it for the suit okay now let's bring our hyper uh, shade again hyper shade so let's uh, clear our uh, view create a new v-ray material okay and let's call this one uh, gear underscore mt all right and let's uh, the suits the old one the blend and the gear one let's delete them so this one deletes and the gear this one the blend one Lambert blend anyway uh, let's delete them and let's uh, work with our v-ray material okay so the hyper shade is down don't forget to assign your uh, material to the selection and now now we are all set anyway now gear MT let's do the same thing so I will assign the materials the same way I did for the suit okay so I will stop recording here and come back in the next next step all right now uh, now our material is all set uh, let's make some uh, test rendering okay so let's choose uh, this um, dome light okay I will delete that later I don't need it uh, I just want to show you the render and let's start rendering so open the render IV, uh, IBR and it will open the V-Ray frame buffer right all right now let's prepare our hair cards for the texture so we have to export uh, some uh, hair cards to import them in substance uh, designer so select uh, the hair okay so what we are going to do let's go edit mesh mesh I'm sorry and separate okay and let's do the same thing for this hair press G on your keyboard to repeat the last command okay and for the ponytail to G alrighty okay now let's choose separate hair cards like two on the for example this one and this one this one and for uh, let's say this one and on the ponytail let's choose another two so one two three four five six seven eight nine all right so let's deselect this one 
Alrighty. Control D. Okay, and drag them to the side. Okay. Now let's bring our UV editor and see what we have here. So to find Go Windows, uh, modeling editors, and here we have the UV editor. Okay, let's group something scripts, something weird is happening. Okay, so here we have uh, the uh, fractal I the fractal I uh, applied for this material okay only to review it uh, and let's see what's happening here what about this one and this one all right not bad okay so let's turn off the uh, material view then let's select our hair cards or everything together and let's combine them together or go to mesh combine okay now what we have to do next let me drag and drop my toolkit here okay now we have to do uh, eight we have to do I want to divide them by eight uh, cards each uh, because in my model here let's see the model in some areas I need the hair to be denser okay and also on the beard I need the hair to be more noisier okay so let's go ahead and do that so under tools or a transform we have to find tools okay so the tools we want to divide them by eight so let's scale to one zero point one twenty five or one thousand two hundred fifty press enter uh, we selected our UVs right okay so uh, we divided by the value 125 uh, let's press this button here all right damn <laughs> all right. okay sorry so control Z okay only on the U all right now let's align them uh, beside each other okay so let's go to view and let's go to uh, we want to turn on the grid all right okay so if you uh, let's see the grid turn on the grid settings okay and the length and, and width okay or the grid lines every at uh, 0 0.125 alrighty apply okay now much better now close now let's drag them to the side and uh, choose them separately so click on any uh, vertices uh, to, to UV shell press X on your keyboard okay and snap it to the uh, grid alright And the next one to UV shell X and the next X and let's finish all our uh, eight pieces to UV shell S no x all right okay and the last one to uv shell x and that's it now let's everything together and snap it to the middle alrighty so uh, now uh, our uh, model is ready to uh, be exported okay so let's close this one object mode export export selection okay and choose your directory to whatever you want all right so I will see you next in substance designer now
uh, we have the substance designer uh, to make the texture for the hair okay so let's get to work uh, press on file new substance and call the graph name hair underscore texture uh, so the width and the height 2000 pixels or 2k is enough empty we need uh, remember to uh, select PBR metallic roughness and click OK all right so here we only need uh, only two maps so let me drag the normal map all right uh, to navigate this uh, graph editor it's exactly like my uh, middle uh, scroll uh, to zoom in and out uh, middle mouse button to uh, move it around all right okay and let's uh, import our uh, the hair cards we exported from Maya earlier so on the unsaved package right click and click link 3d mesh and choose your mesh all right uh, you will uh, this message will uh, pop up so link as uh, UDM mesh no just ignore it all right so here we have resources our hair card and the material because we imported uh, uh, FBX click and drag okay and here we have our hair cards all right okay now what do we have to do right click okay add node to add nodes okay or tap click tap on your keyboard and add node so we want to add an output so you could uh, type here output and you can add an output okay or just right click add node output here the last one all right so we want to add an opacity channel so the identifier call it opacity opacity okay select it control C and on the label uh, copy it on the label control V uh, now we need to use it as an opacity so add an item click on the uh, plus sign uh, we it's already set to diffuse by default no we want to change it to opacity and we are all set all right <coughs> okay now we want to make the hair cards so uh, press tab and let's uh, add noise uh, generator or scratch generator so scratch scratch generator all right that's it So here we have our scratch generator. If we attach it to op the opacity channel, okay. But we have to tweak the settings a little bit to make it uh, look like a hair a string or the hair string. So we can uh, let me go. No, I'm here. I'm not gonna go anywhere anyway. So the rotation let me make this one bigger so the rotation let me drag and let uh, let me drag it uh, all the way down to zero because we uh, need no rotation on the uh, hair strings so I want them to face the, f the same direction okay and the scale let's make them longer the random actually we don't need them to be random the width let them be a little bit wide uh, distortion distortion we don't need them to be uh, distortion the width random and the position let me drag them all together uh, close together like a hair string okay and the fade length okay you can change the fade okay uh, from uh, end it will fade from the other side 
or the start and the end it will fade from both sides okay or the start only okay so let me uh, remove that distortion I want them to be a little bit distorted all right and the scale a little bit longer okay so <clears throat> now here we have a single uh, single thread if you remember in Maya we made uh, eight pieces okay for each uh, hair so okay so we don't need uh, this one so if we want to rotate this one let me remove the uh, link here okay and let's add uh, 2d rotation so tab transformation 2d right and let's link get uh, here so here we have we can link it uh, place it on the side okay and we will have single hair but uh, but we have to make a hair generator because we want to make uh, several hair types okay and we have to uh, able we have to be able to control these settings okay from a hair generator and we will get different results okay on the other seven strings all right so what do we have to do next let's remove the uh, transformation 2d okay and let's make a hair generator all right so on the unsaved package right a click you can save your project from here okay or we could add new substance graph okay and let's call it hair gen okay or generate short for generator and let's use it as an empty thread okay so here we have the graph here let's go back to our hair texture graph okay and let's take this hair Control C go back to your hair uh, generator and Control V boy paste it Control V all right and that's it All right, so inside the hair generator, okay, what do we have to do? So let me make the uh, add node or click tab, okay, and let's add the transformation node, okay, and let's drag it uh, here. Uh, then let's add a new uh, a noise, so Perlin noise tab. All right, so here we have our no, uh, our Perlin noise, okay, and we also need uh, an output. So uh, remove this link. So we have to blend them together first. Okay, so one more uh, node to add. Click tap, and let's add directional war uh, directional warp directional warp all right so let's add it uh, this one to the output and here to the input and this one let's add it to in the intensity okay so the Perlin noise okay what it does it will add some noise of course so see the difference okay and also from the directional uh, warp so if we added the intensity if we uh, increase the intensity it will also uh, give us uh, several results okay so what do we need to do here uh, let me fix the transformation 2d all right 
see now the result is a lot different so if we go if we went to the scale okay and if we pop it all the way up it will be really noisy all right so go ahead and uh, rename the output to here okay and also change the label uh, copy uh, paste it inside the label all right so this uh, we have like a simple hair generator okay we can change the settings wherever we want whenever we want okay so let's go back to our hair texture all right so this is the uh, shader we are working on right now okay so this old one we don't need it anymore so go ahead and delete it we can just simply click and drag the hair generator okay and make as much or as many uh, hair threads as we want all right so now let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and change the settings on the hair generator okay so go ahead and delete these guys and let's go back to our hair generator double click double click on it okay so what do we have to do here we have to expose our settings okay from uh, these nodes okay to the upper level of the hair generator so let's for example select the uh, scratches generator and the settings we need from here for example the hair number or the spline number okay we need to change it okay uh, because like we have to make like dense hair less dense hair uh, the uh, hair on the beard should be like less dense with more uh, noise going on and a lot of distortion okay so how to do that uh, click on this icon here okay and just choose expose uh, so select the name of the new input so let's change it and I click new okay and let's change the input name to the let's say anything you want so for me the spline number is let's say call, call it hair underscore amount all right so let's go ahead and expose our settings so the first one we uh, next uh, to the amounts we need to take to expose the spline distortion okay so go ahead and try to click expose click new okay and hair distortion hair watch oh geez hair distortion all right click okay all right okay then uh, the next one we need the random so let's click expose okay and let's click new so hair distortion so let's random so hair all right okay so we can't change it from here okay uh, let me uh, continue <laughs> okay so hair distortion frequency we also need to expose that uh, okay click new and change the subline to here all right okay and the next one we need to change the hair position so the position so the spline width let me see this one okay no this one let's keep it uh, up the width random okay we don't need this one the position random okay we need to expose this one this one i think it is important okay so right click expose new okay and change this line to hair right click okay okay and the next what do we need let me think about it okay so okay so uh the 
Perlin noise, let me expose the scale. Expose. Click new. Okay, and let's say here or clump underscore here noise. Noise right and click OK. So we have the Berlin hair, uh, the Berlin noise. Uh, we also let me ex uh, the intensity from the uh, directional warp. So intensity, let me choose expose new. Okay, and let's call it global distortion. Global underscore distortion. Alrighty. And I click OK. So I think that's it. So uh, now if we click anywhere, okay, we will find our uh, labels okay or the here the integers okay and we can change the our settings from here so we will uh, uh, okay but before we do that we have to change the labels too so for the hair amount control C okay and copy it on the label okay for the spline distortion control C and let me change the label and for the random also change the label control c and change the label jesus <laughs> all right and the clump hair scale noise control c it's a weird name i know Okay, and for the global distortion, control C, and let's change to the label. All right, so now let's go back to our main shader, okay, and uh, uh, test our settings. All right, so click on the hair texture. Okay, I click and drag the hair generator. Okay, and here we have our settings here exposed. So if you uh, let's increase the amount so we will see the amount uh, getting changed distortion the noise okay and this one this distortion frequency is very important for the uh, for the beard which like i'm really worrying about okay and the distortion scale noise and the global distortion okay now we can make uh, different hair cards uh, different types okay of hair uh, threads all right so let me connect this one to the opacity and see the result all right so we now we can see the uh, our texture and the 3d view all right so okay if you couldn't see the opacity on your uh, model just try to click and view a uh, view in a 3d view okay so now let's uh, remove this link and let's add uh, transform node okay to change its position okay transform 2d input output opacity let let us drag it this way all right so this is on the first hair card now let's try to change the settings it looks weird here we have i have to fix the resolution or i have better idea 
just drag it up a little bit all right and we are good to go <laughs> all right now let's see if we increase the amount okay and the distortion random all right so the way i like to work let's do this uh, let's delete our hair generator okay and let's sh set the shader because we need eight uh, threads so that means we need to we need eight inputs okay so press tab okay and let's add blend uh, node okay and attach it to the opacity okay F uh, click on this blend node what do we want to do the blending mood okay we want to change it to add all right so on this blending node node okay copy it and paste it four times all righty okay let me click and drag these guys away from my sights okay now we have eight inputs one two three four five six seven eight <laughs> all right for this one control uh, we need an another two and let's blend these two blend nodes together and those other blend nodes together okay now we have eight inputs we need another input so let's control V okay for this blending node we need another blending node <laughs> So change this one here okay so we want to place those tiles uh, together so we need uh, okay let me remember so press tab and we need tile generator or not tile sampler generator sampler okay and blend the tile sampler with the blending node <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but uh, hang on for a minute. Okay, for the amount on the X, okay, let's change it to 8. Okay, and the amount, the X, it's like the horizontal. Okay, and the Y, the vertical, we need only one. Okay, and for the scale, the size, the scale, let's change this one to 1. Okay scroll down all the way down okay and for the color random let's randomize it to uh, randomize the colors so here click on this link okay we only need the outlines okay so press tab and let's detect the edges so the edge detect is a very 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 useful node all right and now we have this uh, visible white line uh, white area so we want to invert the color so of course it is self-explaining so click on the link and let's invert it so invert color invert grayscale all right so now we are now we are all set we can start and of course we can add this input to the normal map and let's drag the ambient ambient inc occlusion we also I changed my mind about it this one enhance the look okay so uh, tab click ambient or layer AO okay we will attach this one later 
Okay, so click and drag your hair generator. Okay, let's adjust the look a little bit. So the distortion, let's drag it down and random with the position. Let's keep it this way. little bit like this all right and let's increase the amount okay so this is the, our first hair thread uh, we want to blend it so let's add the 2d uh, transformation transformation 2d for this transformation 2d uh, let's turn off the tiling for now or turn off the tiling forever so the tiling, it change, I click on this uh, icon here, select the method of inheritance, okay? And change it to absolute. This will uh, activate the tiling mode and no tiling. Okay, and let's go to, uh, let's attach it to the blend mode. So click on the uh, transformation node, okay? And let's drag it to the side okay but we want to see the transformation of the uh, tiling so we can place it uh, place it uh, place it accurately all right what's happening okay so something is wrong so let's change this one to add Okay, let's blend more uh, nodes for now. Control C, Control V, and this is our second hair thread. Oh, it needs some time to load anyway okay let's continue working on it okay and let's add another control V control V again So now we have four, four pieces, Control C and Control V, everything, and let's attach these guys. Okay, so now you will see here it's getting uh, stronger. So let's uh, see what we have here. So for this tile, is on the right side this tile on the left let's continue dragging these tiles this one here and the other one let's drag it and drop eight and the last one All right, now let's see, let's blend the grayscale here. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, now we have to work on them individually. Okay, each hair thread. So let's go to for the first one. Just place it. Okay, where you want, then change the uh, for example the hair amount or the scale
okay or I click on the uh, transformation 2d and just squeeze it a little bit okay and place it inside the tile all right let's go to the next one squeeze it a little bit and place it where you want it to be all right and let's do this for all the tiles uh, but okay let's do this why not on this tutorial I hope it is not uh, boring as I think my tutorials are the worst on the internet is the sound recording yes it is everything's fine and for the next one Right. <laughs> of course, these uh, these hair hair pieces they will look different. right <coughs> okay so let's check our uh, uh, hair pieces okay and they look fine uh, these lines will be visible okay on the edges of the uh, hair so when before we export our uh, hair texture okay we have to go to the uh, uh, tile sampler okay find the opacity and turn it down all the way all the way down okay and now you can't see any uh, white edges on your hair uh, hair cards all right okay so now I will work with each uh, hair piece individually okay for example for the first piece here number one what I like to do for example I want to uh, make push some hairs to the back okay and the others to be like make them uh, like uh, make them more lighter or uh, make them like push them to the front all right so what I do okay I click on this link tab blend again okay then uh, I will control C control V this here blend them together blending mode add okay so for for this piece for the back one the background okay I will go and add uh, levels okay or curve curve is much better so let's add curve okay and for the curve I go to adjust the curve and make it a little bit less transparent okay then I will go to the up upper one make it smaller okay or for this I will go to the uh, hair generator and make the amount 
list so here we have uh, lighter hairs okay will appear the, like they are in the front okay and like a little bit darker hair they will appear appear in the back all right so <coughs> If we if I need like more noise or more uh, more noise on the hair, so let's add the hair distortion. Let's push it up a little bit. Let's also squeeze it. right so this is it folks I will go ahead and work on my hair uh, cards individually okay exactly I will choose the exact same uh, nodes I used in the, pr in the in this tutorial okay so if I also want to add like more noise to the uh, if I want to add like more noise to the node okay I will go to here okay and I will do like the same thing as the hair generator okay directional warp okay and Berlin noise blend them together and add them to the uh, hair texture okay so let's do this Tap directional warp. Okay, and uh, Berlin noise. Okay, and here we have a different result on the first hair card. Okay, if we click this it will be perfect for the uh, beard or the uh, different results so we also need to adjust this one so before this one let's add here uh, transformation to the Okay, and drag it a little bit to the side. All right. So for this one, okay, let's add or press tab. Let's add a frame. to make like everything nice and neat okay and let's call this frame hair underscore tile underscore zero one and press enter okay and I will do the same thing for all of my hair cards okay so if we clicked on the opacity uh, let's also uh, add it to the normal map it's already added when I did that I don't remember I did it here all right and let's add it to the ambient include occlusion too what the heck is this okay and this one will enhance the look all right guys so uh, i will continue making my hair cards feel free to do your own thank you very much for watching and i will see you again in the next tutorial so we finished the the texturing for now 
uh, now let's move on to the rigging thank you very much for watching this is mano signing out peace